Now this one is going to be weird with concept and just like me others I cannot uh, say this on the channel. And I tell you the reason why soon I get to the honorable mentions. Or as soon as I get to number one. Or after this video is over. Anyways, I will tell you that Okay, so the infamous moment will leave on one of the main characters from a leash. Sees a giant UFO. And what does he do? He become he had has shape shifting ability, so he shape shifts into a snake. And go goes to in to the UFO like a snake. This theory suppose that Ant Man go farting nose Thanos. So the theory that Ant-Man on tops on goes on top the grape. It's so weird and I don't know why that theory exists. And of course the idea of theorizing that Ant-Man is way will chip Thanos, you know, uh, be a chip for Thanos is kind of weird and I don't actually say it. The fact that Ant-Man could be theorized to shrink and of course, of course, have a weird plan for Thanos, I don't know. Ugh. Anyway, next number, number 12. Anyways, Maya's, his theory on fear rising that knows we'll see a, a, a ant man <sighs> anyways let's move on okay so number 12 is a lot more interesting and one of the rare spheres on this list that's actually provable for evidence. Anyways, so this story of Crazy World is a another 
clip of being nine life Noah's in the series. So it also leads to battles, but not a weird thing. Just a normal one for once. Whew. Anyways, this idea comes from the mock charge scene in Unleash. So the famous moment comes when they try to figure out who will be the king. This they're a terraformer tribe, but they figure out he's not royal enough to be the king. Well, I would try to have it, but decided not to. And then there was Mr. Calvin. But he, uh, then that sort of thing worked out. But they decided to do what anyone else does. Could Mr. Cow then be successful enough to be a king? And this marks the theory that his, you know, his theory that Thanos might be worthy enough to use Normir. Thor's hammer. Anyways, number 11. It's another theory that I can't t tell you the full title of, but if you want to listen and hear the full title of this theory, then go right So there's a storyline in the Crazy Four Beyond Halloween that has something called Electric Soap. This Electric Soap it is what is called, well, Jim. And it's another Spongebob theory he has. And I can't say the full title because, come on, I don't want to have this video redone again, right? Right. And so, I have to make sure you read the title of the theory and read what's the video. <sighs> So let's move on to number 10. This one, I didn't actually can say the title of the theory. Well, sort of. It's a theory that 
people would not have had. Are you ready? So, for Umbertan, it's going to be in the last of his FNAF theory. In fact, it's going to be one of his three theories that he has for his channel. It's going to be focused on the first. So many good characters from the Raven Alright. So the ultimate universe. Yes, they're from a alternate universe. And of course. And of course, not gonna spoil it to you, but the song elements that shows that they are like like similar to the first part characters. This goes back to Matt Pack's first theory of one of his new videos that he fought that the toy and drawings in the Grand Rocks were the same, clearly or not. This is going back, all the way back to 2017, back when he uh, theorized about the first, um, not the first, the second novel of the series. It's crazy world. If he theorized about crazy world, he could pull that trick again when he theorized that, that their character group is similar to a, to a similar or almost similar character group. In fact, uh, you can uh, watch those videos of the series and of course move on to number nine. Number Son of the Bird Nine is on this lady on the stream and the others. Well, more interesting than the others because it includes, yeah, well, it almost includes a theory I, I thought of. But then the side that Matt Pat does the theory better. So each of the Crazy World characters are representations of animals. Grumpus is an alligator, Wolf Guy is a wild wolf, Barbara is a cat, Frog Guy is a frog, and of course the Lucy character is a fish. But then there's T-Rexes, there's a, there's a weird thing, who, who isn't a dog, and then there is many examples of uh, in on the leash, and man, they'll do shit, like, they're 
Mars view lizard characters, many primate characters such as many characters representing of uh, ranitans and gorillas. And of course there's also characters that represent clowns and of course any sort of any sort of nickname you can have for these characters. This goes back to his first Sonic video, where he showed and talked about what animal characters the Sonic characters represent. Number eight. So this one is kind of also interesting. So let's do it. So so this one also is interesting. The only such thing is that is because it doesn't have enough elements 